What's good guys and welcome back. Today we have a nice training video and also a bit of an educational video. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to pull off this effect in After Effects. Yeah, I've been seeing this effect all over my Instagram and TikTok feed recently and I think it looks pretty sick. You just don't wanna overdo it too much. It's just that little bit of spice that makes your video look that much cooler. And I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do it today in this video. But before we do that, we need some actual footage. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me, get some training footage, a little vlog, do some flips. So this effect is used on mostly cars, bikes. I haven't really seen it being used on people. So I'm gonna do some flips in this video, get some awesome footage. And I'll be showing you guys step-by-step step how to do this on After Effects, quick and simple. So if you enjoy this video, please let me know by leaving a like. It helps a lot. And if you don't wanna watch the free running segment, skip to this time to watch the tutorial, but I highly recommend you watch the training vlog because it's actually really sick. But yeah, let's get into it. These are some dunes right here. Look at the size of them. We're gonna get some clips going on. We've come down to the beach. You probably can't hear me right now because it's really windy, but these sand dunes are massive. So we're gonna get a flip session going on. There's also this sick platform right here. You can run up to a massive freaking, I don't know, double side flip off that or something. So yeah, we'll get into a nice flipping session and then I might go for a swim. You think I can hear you? Mike will. Wow. Try a triple twist. <laughs> Alright, I got the triple full pretty easily. So I'm gonna try and do a double backflip off this massive dune now. The only thing is, the dune landing is like mad on an angle, so it's a bit weird on my ankles when I land. Give it my best shot. <laughs> Touched. Yeah. Damn, that looks really funny. <laughs> All the way to the water. Fucking hell. Ah, there goes my energy. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> sick flow, hey. Go again, do that sick thing again. Whoa. Hey, can you do a flip? Um, I've got a lot of accessories on me. Uh, I can do a backflip. Yeah, let's see it. <laughs> he's gone. Where'd he go? He's, he's dead. Oh, there he is. Oh, I was not expecting that. Oh! What happened? He jumped on a bunch of sticks. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! It's gonna collapse. <laughs> Alright, that was a successful session. Tom did a few flips. Successful session. I actually landed oh, triple full, oh, double back flip. The dune was super high, but quite sketchy, but happy with those flips. Ah! What? I was just cleaning my feet on like bindies shit. Oh, there's, oh yeah, there's bindies in there. I, I've seen the bindies, but they're sharp. Like, oh. Yeah. Now we're gonna drive on home. Are we stopping by the store and picking up some digestives? Yeah. Yes. And, uh, some stuff as well. Okay. I'm really sandy. Yeah. I don't know if Where's I can. Your towel? Didn't bring one. I was gonna swim and I didn't bring one. Idiot. I think you're subconsciously planning to not swim. Oh, I really wanted to swim. The water was just too dirty. dirty. It was murky and dirty. Car's coming. Oh shit, car's coming. Get down! I could kill you right now. You're lucky you didn't kill me. <laughs>
All right, we are now back. We have the footage here in After Effects. I'm using this clip right here. It's a little shot of me doing a nice backflip stall. And I'm going to be using the turbulent displace effect on me in this clip. Same goes if you want to do it on a car or a bike, same thing applies. So first you want to cut up your clip. I'm going to start it about there, cut it, and then we'll find out where we want to end it. End it about there. And I shot this in 120 frames per second. So I'm going to slow it down, time stretch 300. That's 120 frames per second. Then you want to rename your clip to background, copy and paste this and rename the second layer to effect. Then once you do that, double click this and it will open a little window. Then you come up here to this roto brush tool and that is where the magic happens. So you get the tool, just trace your subject, whether it be a car, bike, human, could be an animal, anything. I don't know. I don't know why you'd want to do it on an animal, but uh, 50 at the start, 800 at the end. Damn, that actually looks pretty sick. And once you finish tracing, let go and it will do a little mask of your subject. If there's any imperfections, you can hold Alt and go in and fix those things. And once you're happy with it, just scroll through the frames, make sure everything looks good. As you can see there, it's automatically tracing around my body and even through my elbow there. It's looking good. So once you are happy with how it looks, you click this button here, freeze, and then you just kind of wait. And this can take a little while, up to a few minutes, even a few seconds, depends on your computer. So we're just gonna chill here and wait. <clears throat> Stretch out a bit if you've been editing for a while. If you didn't watch the free running segment of this video, this is what you've been missing out on. I think it's, I think it's actually finished. All right, the rotor brush is now finished. So you can actually close out of this window. And what you're gonna wanna do is just copy the effect layer and I'll just rename this to top layer, just like that. And on the effect layer, come up to the effects and presets and type in turbulent displays and drag that onto the effect layer. So we're gonna go to the start of the clip and click a keyframe for amount, size. These ones you can do, you can test them out yourself. But for now, I'm just gonna do amount and size. I'm gonna start with 30 size on five and then i'm going to scroll to the end and type in 835 whoa that looks crazy so this is where you can completely experiment and do things your way and we click play there it is there's the effect crazy a bit too crazy i think i'm going to go to about 25 on that put a keyframe on evolution go to the end and this is you can like do weird stuff i don't even know this is such a weird effect but it looks cool in the end as you can see that looks sick. And yeah, that's basically how you do the turbulent displace effect. You don't want to go too crazy with this effect. You just want to keep it minimal so it looks clean still. And with a bit of editing here, I'm just going to sort out the rest of the Instagram edit. how I do the turbulent displacement bubble effect in After Effects. If you guys learned anything from this video, please let me know. I haven't done a tutorial or a flip video in quite a while and I know it's not going to get as many views, but I don't want to put my channel into a box where I only do bike videos or only do flipping videos. I want to do everything, flip, bike, gym, everything. I know the YouTube algorithm isn't going to like that, but it's what I want to do. And if you guys watch my videos to watch me, that means a lot to me and I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please leave a like on this video, comment what you want to see next. See you guys in the next one. Oh,